let's turn to a simple question. It's a tough one. Does torture work? Bob Bear is a former CIA officer and author of The Devil We Know. Bob Bear, I'm going to bow to your knowledge of this subject. It's a cruel subject. It's a cruel business. Under duress, will people tell the truth if tortured? Under duress, under the threat of duress, under blackmail, people will tell what they think you want to hear. It is an unreliable tool. And the reason I say this is I spent 21 years in the CIA in and out of prisons watching these techniques in one way or another, reading reports, and the countries that tortured uniformly produced inaccurate intelligence. Torture does not work. You're sitting with the President of the United States, our new president, Barack Obama. He faces what looks to be a ticking time bomb situation. He's got an intel that something's coming our way that's big. He has KSM in custody. He's got Zubaydah in custody. He may have someone else in custody. Is it useful to take a crack at one of these people to use torture if it might yield success in preventing catastrophe? Is it worth trying? That's the cutting edge question, it seems to no, me. No, it's, it's a loaded question. Those situations almost never, never arise. And what happened with Abu Ghraib and the waterboarding is it was a fishing expedition, which is something entirely different. It's sort of like the local police you know, running everybody in when a crime's been committed and waterboarding them. It just doesn't work. There are some rare, rare exceptions, but almost never do terrorists send two people at two different times that know each other's plans. They're just smarter than that. So what we're doing is we're giving up our values, our rule of law, for the chances of actually producing are, are zero.